Hello and welcome back to the Diet Dr. Pepper series. We are here at the Indianapolis Oval here today. have to specify, since there's a lot of road Indy uh, and NASCAR lately. But uh, we're here at the Oval, just like they're going to be there next year in Cup. But uh, we're, of course, in the Gen 4 in this one, and we're heading out for qualifying. Really hoping I don't mess this up. I practiced a whole lot for this um, hot lap. Um, I don't know why. Just uh, I kind of started doing my normal practice, and uh, I was really trying to get into the 51s. So I spent like way more time than I usually do practicing, and now my hands hurt before the race even starts, which probably not a good thing. <laughs> but uh, hopefully the practice will pay off. I'm just waiting to hit the wall here after spending all that time practicing my hot laps. That would just be the uh, the punchline to the joke. <laughs> Practice for hours and then don't even uh, put in a good lap. So I'm going to focus up here, try to get a good quality run in. So, pardon me if I go silent. Got a little bit loose on the run of the line. Fantastic start. Green, green, green. Okay, here comes your first time lap. Driving too timid. That was terrible. What am I doing? Oh, now I'm gonna have to get another run to the line because that was just garbage. Yep, just kind of how I suspected. I think I'm going to do terrible here. Come on, second lap. It's going to have to be the second lap because this lap was not good. One more lap. not good at all. Feels like there's less grip on the track. I pulled together. The leader has just done a 52.5. <sighs> I think the track's slower. Hopefully this lap is not slower, because I feel like uh, I did hit my marks a little bit better that time. That lap was a not good enough. Andrew the gets the pole. Or at least for now. You practice so long with one set of track conditions, and then you jump in and the track conditions have changed. It's really hard to make that adjustment. I think the first lap probably would have been better, but... Still a uh, decent lap, so I'll take it. Me too right now. As uh, it definitely slowed down. We'll just ride around here for a little bit, I guess. I was going to pit next time around, but it looks like we will not have enough time to do that. But that's okay, we uh, practiced that too. So that's okay. I think a key here is going to be making sure we're low enough on the track. I think you can get some really good rotation down by the rumble strips down there. Twenty seconds, maybe I'll get to around for the pit stop in time. If I can get it down here and get it low, slow enough that I can get rotation and not kill my right front. Maybe we'll be okay. That's the end of the session. Oh, right P2. before I could practice. But uh, P2, alright.
I'll take it. Checkered flags out. P2. Just slightly off of Andrew's fast lap. He's looking real fast. And you can see uh, the full field here. Got some names I don't recognize. Maybe some newcomers to the league. That's cool. Let's see. Nick down there in 11th. Got Tracy, the guy we're competing with in the league championship, has started P7. We're going to look to try to finish ahead of him today, if we can. Got Gavin down in 15th, league administrator. <laughs> And then uh, a full 28 car field. I guess not full, but, you know, lots of people here. After the qualifying laps we did, we're actually on the right rear. But I feel like that'll probably swing around and get on the right front once uh, the tires are up to Tim Foley and everything. So definitely going to want to take care of them. I think, uh, I do really think that tire wear is going to be something to consider. We've got 80 laps here today, and uh, 26 estimated laps of fuel, so we might have to do some fuel saving, is what uh, I am understanding, because if you take 80 laps, and say you divide that by 3, let's see, oops, get my calculator, so you get 80 divided by 3, you got to make it at least like 27 laps. You got to make it at least 27 laps at least one of the runs. Oops. Wow, I didn't even know you could switch through the black boxes on the screen. Huh. The more you know. Anyway, yeah, so um we're going to have to try to make it 27 laps one of the runs. So we can go 26 26 27. Or start with a 27, then do 26, 26. Um, I think as so long as we get the most out of our tank of fuel, we should be all right. Should do decently. And uh, while we got a few seconds more until the uh, grid starts, we'll look at the league standings heading into this race. Getting closer to the end of the season, but still a few more races to go. We're just going to make sure we're all updated on that. Navigating to that screen right now. I'll turn this on so you can see it. There we go. So, Season 1. Good luck, see. everyone. Andy today. And then four more races after that. Yeah, we are luck. currently leading by, uh, what's that, about 60 points or so? A little less than 60, maybe? Yeah, good luck, everybody. I don't feel like doing the math. <laughs> But uh, Tracy in P2, and then Gavin in P3. So that's what we're looking at uh, with league standings. And it is time to grid up. Thank you for your patience as we waited for that to happen. And uh, I'm going to wait a second. We don't have much time to wait, but don't want to burn too much fuel on the grid if we can avoid it. Not going to make much of a difference, but... You know, might help. Good luck. Don't want to be the last one out there, so everyone's waiting for me. Good luck, all. Yeah, what Rick said. I'll get onto the grid. Yeah, good luck, guys. One left to green. Line up on the outside. Close. So I think race pace will be a little bit slower since we're not running Q laps the whole time. 3,000, Estimated 26 or so laps, but we gotta do a pace lap as well. Stay behind the pace car in the inside column. We're gonna save fuel out here as much as possible. Catch the pace car. Gotta go catch that pace car. Got plenty of time to do that around this huge track, though, isn't it? Two and a half miles is what Indy is. Large facility, large historic facility. You know, the real one, not this <laughs> pretend one that we're on, but, you know. We're real race car drivers, guys. We're, we're pretending. Don't break the illusion. I gotta find out what gear we're gonna be starting in. 
So I will have to burn a little, or burn up a little bit of fuel to get an idea of that. I imagine it's probably second gear. Just my chair. I think we'll try to go 26 laps on the first run. Then maybe try to stretch it to 27 on uh, run number two. I think we should be okay, though. Not too concerned. I think we can do it. Volume's a little bit quiet, actually. I'm going to turn that up just a bit. Wiggly, we're okay. The next car's the leader. See now, get through the corners nice and smooth. I'm gonna be right behind Andrew right now, heading into turn three for the first time. I'm going to break a little bit early, so I'm going to run out of the back of them. Starts okay, now find your group. A little bit of a run, not so much though. Not going to worry about trying to get around them right now. In fact, we can save a little bit of fuel by lifting off. If we can make it 27 this first run, we will. I just wasn't sure if it was going to happen. Oh my gosh, that got really loose. Won't do that. Got to try to be steady. I did unmute him, right? Yes. Okay. So far, so good. Running P2. Would love to lead a lap at some point. See if we can get those bonus points. The leader's just done a 52.5. The guy behind has just done a 52.8. Keeping it low, getting on uh, bottom side of the track. Lots of turn down there. Help us get rotated, which is what we need. I want to get my um, brake bias back in the end car as well. Got to go ahead and do that. Always forget that it resets after practice and all that. There we go. Get as much turn as we can with the brakes. Alright, so right behind Andrew, we got three tenths back to Ian, and then a second from us back to fourth. Good stuff. Not going to worry about draft or anything. I'm going to move a little bit away from the wall because there is a little bit of drag you get when you're driving next to the wall. But uh, draft very, 
very light this car, so I'm not going to be worried uh, about that too much. I'm just going to drive in a straight line. They're all getting a wall, you mean poop. Fine. No damage. No damage. We're, we're good. We're good. It's like it never happened. I remember that uh, get away with that in practice, but can't be hitting the wall all too much during the actual race, beating up your car. Thankfully, that was a very uh, light tap. Not too much uh, to worry about there. Too far down. Do our best to chase down Andrew. You can see where we gain a little bit. Why did Nick leave already? No, that sucks. He's not gonna have much of a video. What if he KO'd the wall or something and broke his car immediately? That really stinks. I look forward to watching his video, but he's not gonna have much to speak of. Alright, so we get a big run on him. I'll look there. You'll there. Thanks, appreciate it. He lives for us, that's very nice of him. Helps us prevent uh, needing to fight side by side for too long, which here at Indy, very huge time sink if you're side by side. Go ahead on the inside, Gavin, I'll live. Thank you for the one. Yeah, you're welcome. Alright, so we'll get our lap lead. That's some bonus points. Feeling pretty good about that. How are we doing on fuel? We got about 19 laps. That should bring us to 26, I believe. Without too much issue. We're getting a little bit loose. Gonna try to keep this thing steady. Not a very good lap there, especially through that final sector. I didn't see that, Gavin. The lap time was at 53.9. On my screen, it was barely anything. See if we can have a better second sector this lap. Maybe not. The tire wear is just falling off that much. I don't know. Doing okay though. It's so difficult to hit your marks consistently here. Honestly, I think Andrew probably is better. We'll hold on to it while we can. I feel like I'm having to try too hard to stay up here. He's probably having a nice breezy time.
Alright, so we should be able to make it to lap 26. We gotta go all the way on the fuel tank though. No undercuts or anything like that. Oh, no turn right there. That was awful. It's like getting a four tire slide. Not enjoying the way that the handling is going. down lower the speeds through the corners I guess see someone fanning out a couple cars back I think I just gotta make sure I don't overdrive this thing very tempting to do so it's trying to be fast but I think oh my god that was what am I doing? I can't stay out of the freaking wall. There's just no grip, man. I'm driving terrible. Andrew's gonna get around just because he's so much smoother. I don't think my right front will be my problem. And fast. Don't let, right don't let me uh, suggest otherwise. Wasn't meaning to. Yeah, I'm working on it. There is just no more turn in this car. I'm, I've done a terrible job. the adjustment that I need to make so that I'm not slapping the wall every corner. I'm gonna back up my braking marker I think. This is difficult, man. It is so hard to hit the hit your lines here. You've just done a fifty-four point nine. Three tenths back. I'm surprised he hasn't come and passed me with how bad I've been at uh, being consistent. Wait, slap the wall a couple times. Not good. Make sure I don't have any damage from the second wall hit. Alright, yeah, we're good. It's good to know. Alright. We're good, I think, so long as I stop overdriving the stupid car.
Should get to our fuel window just fine. Overdrove it. Oh, that was bad. Overdrove that corner real bad. Missed my turn in a little bit. Just thinking about fuel rather than thinking about taking that corner. Yeah, we got the wall again. I am struggling. Andrew's inched back closer a little bit. Nine laps or so of fuel left in this thing. That was a uh, 55.1. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Really interested to see what the tires are going to be. It feels like it's real bad on the right front, but at the same time, like we've been on the right rear a whole lot as well. So, horrible exit. Oh man. Eight laps. We should make it to 26 just fine. I wonder if I need some break for turns two and four. I'll get some turn in. That might be helpful. catching me. I think he's probably been better on his tires. At the end of this lap, we'll be a quarter of the way through. He's going to come past me. It's been better long run. Is he going to get the nose on me now? No, not quite yet. Got uh, the 50 car coming up. Hopefully he'll be able to go to the outside for us. Okay, Colton. He's hitting. Interesting. 
Awful exit to the corner there, by the way. Got tight. A tiny bit of break in the two and four might help us. About five laps of fuel left. Much better exit that time. I almost make it to twenty seven. Not quite. Got a big gap between, uh, between Andrew and Ian behind us. So even if we lose this spot, we're still doing pretty darn well for ourselves. I think you got through there a little bit better than we did. Gonna be using a little bit more brake in two and four now. That really worked out that time. Yeah, that's great. Okay, I've been overdriving it bad. That's much better. That lap time was 55.4. You've got two minutes of fuel remaining. Minutes of fuel remaining. You have about two laps of two fuel. Two laps of fuel <laughs> remaining. I guess when you got pretty much minute long laps, that's uh, that checks out. Got people coming in for the pits. We got uh, on the right front there. I noticed I, I had a quick glimpse. You know, pretty right now. Yeah. Could end up in an interesting situation with people rejoining the track. Hopefully, we catch them in a good spot. I think they should be okay to pull away from us here. Coming in this lap, coming in this lap. Come in. Pit lane speed limit All right. is 60 miles per That'll hour. That'll do it. We think we'll need to stop again. That's half a gallon of fuel left. Make sure we get in here well. Three, two, one. Right here. 
You idiot. Uh, 75 in this time. No matter how hard I try, I mess it up. I swear. 47 pit man this time, this time. 20 come on up if you want to, buddy. Okay, go. Yeah, look, now he's out in front of us because I'm terrible. Your exit is clear. Watch the white line. Like I said, 47 this time. To the lead is sitting now. I'm garbage. Whatever. Look at that. 1.2 seconds back. Figured out how to freaking ruin my freaking race. So mad at myself. I can't do anything right. These races go caution free too. I mean, it's not like we're gonna get that back, so. Might as well hand them the win. 49.52 is what our tires were. The lead is pitting now. Head back up to him, I guess. It'll be fine. We got some people that hit too early, it looks like. To me. Interestingly. Really. You really have to maximize that stop in order to make it. And, uh, yeah, guys like Mitch and Tracy, they didn't even go with a full 26. So they're gonna have to save some fuel at some point. Very curious. Looking for caution, maybe? A well timed one? Be it. I guess uh, we can try to be positive. I'm usually better when trying to follow someone anyway than if uh, I've got open, empty track in front of me. Psychologically, I guess. Having someone to chase makes me go faster. Of course, that probably just means I'm going to kill my tires worse this time. It's smart there. Head up is now in the lead. Tracy trading spots up there. Tracy getting a lap of lead, that's gonna help him. Bonus points wise, that was probably smart. Find a way to get that done. That might have been 
part of the reasoning. Don't hit the wall. Got freaking close. Get caught back up to him, but uh, ideally we wouldn't have needed to. That stuff turned too bad there. Gonna get around Mitch. Car outside. Go low. Okay, Colton. The next car is Junowski. Still there. Hold your line. Mitch backs Clear. out. Now Lap car up ahead going low. Hopefully we'll back up before we get to the corner or this could get ugly. Yeah, he is. That's good. Well done. Smart play. Oh my god. Heck up there, I had to slam on the brakes. Glad I didn't get to the back of them. Oh my gosh, these checkups are really scary. And you're finally going to his inside. He's not giving up the spot. The next car's the leader. Outside. Stay low. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear outside if you want it. Outside. Keep low. The next car's the leader. Still there. Hold your line. Outside is clear. Well, I'll stay high here, bud. Go low, go low. All right, well, we figured that out. Basically you fought hard. We'll let you go by here. Thank you, bud. I appreciate it. All right, almost a halfway. You're back in second. Be good run through two. Let you go by here again. I'm, I'll stay low. Thanks, 
over it. I don't know, man. It's going to be really hard to get by him. I doubt he's going to just let me by this time, unless uh, I got a whole lot of car up alongside him, maybe. Terrible. I'm driving horribly. I know I can do so much better, that's why I'm frustrated with myself. I think I just gotta calm down. I think I just gotta go back to being more smooth. Billy has left. Must have run into trouble. That stinks. No problem. Thank you. Sliding too much. Yeah, no problem. Loose there through four. Thanks, Rick. I don't know how I'm eating right rear so bad. <laughs> you were tail happy. I'm just surprised I haven't wrecked yet. <laughs> Same here. Hit the wall a couple times, thankfully not too hard. The halfway point here. hard to gain anything. He's hitting his mark so well. A tiny bit there, maybe less okay. than a ten. Ooh, got the wall on entry, maybe? Was that just prediction code, or did that really happen? I don't know. Man, I'm racing hard, though. I'm giving it everything I got. I missed his mark. Outside. Stay low. Uh, there, had to try to line. take the advantage of the mistake there because I have not been seeing many. He's backing out. There is a car on the high side. Ooh. Clear up, Tom. You are the leader. Not the loser. 55.3. Thankfully, I was close enough to take advantage of the mistake.
get back around him. Now, what I gotta do is A, save enough fuel, and B, I've gotta not mess up the next pit stop. Man, my hands hurt. I freaking practiced for hours running hot laps and uh, lap time was at hurt my hands before the race even started. Thank you, Matthew. No problem. Then we got 80 laps here to do at full intensity. Terrible turn, too. And uh, my hands are not enjoying that part of it. Fifty car coming up again. We will catch him at a good spot. I just gotta calm down. I think. I think if I just take a breath, hit my marks, I think I'll be okay. Make sure I get the pit stop down right. I've noticed when I'm smoother, I'm faster. So I really just gotta stop flinging my steering wheel around and really just be smooth. And now we're looking okay. Had a couple good laps here. Ugh, not my greatest. Current one and two there. Is it gonna back out for us? Yes, okay. Thank you, Matt. Time for. All right, point six. It would pull away just a little bit. That lap was a fifty-five point two. Okay, Colton. Lap times are pretty consistent. Not really thrilled with how our lap, our pit uh, fuel marker is, whatever I'm trying to say. I wish we were looking a little bit better in that department. Side of the dangling between my screen and the face, and my yeah, my screen and my face, and I hate it. Right and loose at the same time. Yes, mate, you've got five minutes of fuel remaining.
You have about five laps of fuel left. <laughs> Gonna have to stretch it like 28, it looks like, on the final run, which is not a deal. At least I got a better run through there that time. Four laps of fuel left. Wheeling it. Not a good exit. That was horrible. It's gonna gain a little bit on us there. Putting in the flat, putting in the flat. Oh boy. Alright, three laps. Yeah, that would leave us with, uh, we need to save like 20, go to 28 at the end. That's scary. Because, uh, saving laps here, a lot to ask when it's 2.5 miles. He's only point two behind. Good consistency. Keep him coming. Can't even talk much. I'm focused so hard. Marks. You got about two laps of fuel left. need to not make a mistake this next time. We, we needed to not do it the first time. We need to not do it this time either. You've got one gun on left. Oh, he has to pit this time. Wow. That's interesting. Or maybe he wants the undercut and thinks he shouldn't have any issues. Alright, Colton. Very little fuel left. Coming to the pits at the end of this lap. Box you have about this one lap of fuel left. Thank you. He'll probably get around us with the undercut. Half a gallon of fuel remaining. All right, gotta come in. We're running on fumes, mate. Coming to the pits at the end of this lap. Box this lap. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Alright, that'll work. We'll need to stop again. Full fuel, tires. Let's do this thing. Thank you for the room there. Appreciate it. Come for. Reminder to self. Pit box team. Do not okay. slide past the box. Set it in this time. Five. Three. Two, one, right here. 
<laughs> wow. I'm sorry, man. It looked like you were staying low for me. 47 pitting this time. 47 this time. Move it, move it. There's traffic behind. Watch your mirrors. Don't cross the white line. Well, I ruined my pit stop. The lead is pitting now. Outside. Outside is clear. Sorry, Kevin. No problem, didn't slow me down. Eight car fitness lap. You got it. Outside. Clear outside. I-56, where are the tires? It's over. Just one of the worst pit stops I've ever done, even while I was trying not to mess it up. Inside, keep high, clear. The lead is bidding now. What a joke. I am. Talking about myself here. It's pathetic. I sit there and I'm just I'm trying to be careful and I do that. Like what am I doing? Thank you. Get back in fear. Just try to get what we can. See how we cycle out, it's not gonna be good. Twelve seconds back on Andrew. I'll say hi, Gavin. Thank you. Just pathetic. Guess we're good on fuel at least. Get back in fourth position. Thanks, Rick. He might still be in second place, assuming the other guys can't make it on fuel. But Andrew's got it now. I just can't believe I can be so focused on not messing up my pit box. And I mess it up far worse than I have all day, and then now I'm just giving up. I had been thinking I would have tried for a fast lap and still had that potentially, but tires are too worn for that now. Thank you, Rick. Two laps. Andrew did come in a lap earlier than us, but he shouldn't have any trouble. 
saving the fuel. Let's see. Because he's got no one near him. So I don't know how to fit. The captain clock behind is now 0.9. Also, we're going to get caught by Ian and probably not even get this spot. So. I'm good for one stupid mistake every race. P4, you've just done a 53.3. Okay, Colter, cup time's pretty consistent. Doing. So, uh, that's either Tracy or Mitch. They can't make it to the end. Putting in. Hopefully, AC looks like. We should, uh, at least be able to finish well ahead of Tracy, I think. Brandon, I'm putting in this time. Back in third. Keep hustling. So, it'll be good for our championship. It's still going to be a good run here today, but I think, uh,. I think I'm allowed to be disappointed after how badly I messed that up. Messed that up. Okay, Colton. The next car is Dronowski. I guess I gotta figure out a way to freaking pack practice getting in my pit box. You'd think that would be simple. Clearly not for me. We got 28 lap, 18 laps. <laughs> Pardon me. 18 laps to go. Got myself concerned there for a second by not being able to do math. back out for us here. No, it doesn't look like it. We might not catch him. I'll go high again. Car outside. Well, and it'll be in a really bad outside spot. Clear. Appreciate it, right? And Ian's gonna catch us some more. There's no way Mitch can make it, so we're not too worried about him. Hopefully he'll let us by pretty quickly, because there's no reason he shouldn't.
Andrew, have you put it yet? That lap time was 54.0. Guess there's a there's a chance he can't make it on fuel somehow. Not able to save it or something. Having kept one lap earlier, but I'd be surprised. And like I said, he can save that pretty easy if uh, there's no one pressuring him. Catching up to Mitch. Wonder when he plans on pitting. Maybe he'd look and just catch a caution right now. I should have put some down before we hit that corner. I was going to give you the bottom. Oh, yeah, no worries. Caution free race, though. This has been a pretty excellent one. Even though uh, I'm going to mess up every green flag pit stop, I guess I kind of wish <laughs> I could have uh, had it reset, but that's just because I made mistakes. And if I make mistakes, I'm probably not uh, the one deserving of the win. Stay high here, bud. There's smoke all over the place. But that's about. Oh, I don't know how you feel, Shane. Yeah, that was kind of tough. We are closing in on Andrew a little by little. You've just done a 54.5. That's good consistency, keep it up. Chain up the Shane. Have a bad entry now. Outside. Still there, hold your line. Clear outside if you want it. Thanks, Dakota. Who's Mitch? Is he gonna let us by? No problem. Or no. Okay. We have to lift off for him there. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Keep low. Not gonna back it up for us. Stay low. Clear high. That's all right. Far too. Oh, you're good, man. Thanks for the room. 11 laps to go, we're right on the mark. I don't doubt that uh, Andrew can make it on fuel ahead of us here. But maybe he'll have to lift off too much. 
você. I'm gonna have to gain like five tenths a lap though. That's a lot to gain. I just have not managed to figure out the tire saving secret cell. Warner! Yeah, we're not catching Andrew fast enough. Just gotta try to hold on a second, I think. What I'm doing... falling apart. It's not turning too well anymore you might expect. It's point in the run. I don't even think we're gaining on Andrew, Andrew anymore. He probably saved enough fuel and can just drive now. Oh, it's not sticking too well. I'm, I'm bummed, man. At least uh, this time my dumb mistake only hurt me. I've been making some dumb mistakes recently that wreck other people. So at least I haven't done that Outside. yet. Outside is clear. I think the uh, the second pit stop really made all the difference. That wasn't obvious. I mean, both times I headed into the green flag pit stops with the lead, and when I came out, I coughed it up. You don't say a word. You be quiet now. Yeah, I'm, I'm content. <laughs> If you're gonna let me by, he is. Lap traffic will play a factor? No, I didn't realize y'all were coming that quick. I'm just trying to save another lap of fuel so I ain't got a pit again. We should be like half a lap short down here. Okay, Gained a bunch on Ian, he might have hit the wall or something. I'm right there. I'm not a lap good. 
Somebody cut my fuel line, so I'm not going to make it. Oh no. <laughs> cut his fuel line. Sounds like my jet, uh, jet man did his job. <laughs> that was a secret mission. Five. Time was Five to go. Five to keep it up. We're in a great spot. Thank you, sir. You've got about five laps of yeah, fuel. Yeah, I can fuel. All right, we got him, buddy. We're gonna get unfortunately close to. Well, it's been fun running top ten all day. Tantalizingly close. Not if I freaking blow well, the fire off. It's about impossible to save fuel here and keep good pay. Yeah, I just got the five left for fuel, so. That's half distance. We estimate three minutes of fuel remaining. That was a uh, 55.1. We're gonna keep pushing hard though, see if we can lower it as much as we can. You never know, he runs out like exiting four or something. See how much time we lost last lap right there. People in pit road that couldn't quite make it all the way. Wiggly at the freaking entrance of two. I entered basically pointing the wrong direction. That was not fantastic. He still can just barely make it. It's impressive he's been able to save. Because I don't even know how... I guess you just lift off really early to save here. That's what the how you do it. Coming to the white flag though, he should have it just fine. One gallon remaining. I see him up there. White flag, today smooth. One more to go. Keep it together. We'll be on the podium. We're running on fumes, mate. Hit this lap. In this lap. We have about one lap of fuel left. out or is he just gonna be fine heading to the line? Very little fuel left. Come into the pits at the end of this lap. Box this lap. He's fine. Good one man. Good win, awesome race guys. Great drive. How my hands? How much fuel did you have, Andrew? It's over. 
I am Good out. They ran job. out right as I crossed the line. Good one. You're right, guy. Uh, job, it's a great finish, but uh, just couldn't make it that last lap. Good job. If man. I had just not done a freaking figure eight what, over my pit box, I <laughs> think we might have had that one. I'm just happy I made all the laps, mostly. Fifty-nine, sixty-five. Yeah, really good, really good, really good. Record six, Gavin. That was really fun. Oh, we'll get P two. Oh, my hands are. Great run. That was fun. I just. I, was killing my right front that last run. I was terrible, but that was fun. As much as I don't want yeah, to, I'm gonna look at that, that one guy hit stop I made. Uh, I don't know. That was gonna be scary to do that. I kind of had to do freeze. Out, what happened here? I wasn't gonna be able to hold it off anyway. Did it break? Great, 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 great. Hello. And calculator for next week. Well, I guess it's good now. Good win, Andrew. Good racing, guys. Man, it is freaking out. Yeah, good job, guys. All green, baby. That's how you do it. All green, no yellow. What is happening? Yeah, Andrew was going super soft that whole last run. You can see by his tires. He didn't need to push hard because I messed up so bad. Huh. I don't know why it won't show me what's going on here. Actually, you know what? I think I might know what's wrong. I will be right back. All right, I'm back. Sorry, I'm having like storage issues with my computer, and apparently because of that, I'm not able to go past lap 23, I think, in the replay, which kind of stinks. But uh, I guess we'll see what we can from that. Or maybe it's broken. Ah, that's ugly. Well, I know something happened to Nick, so I guess we'll go look at that. Sorry for the technical difficulties there. Wow, he did—he made it like three laps. What happened? So here he is, lap three. Lifts off for Shane. Okay, no problem there. He doesn't make it through lap four. Gets by, let's Gavin get by. Oh my goodness. Way, way far back dive. Wow, that is crazy. Nick's just being easy, letting Gavin by on lap four, so he lifts off early. He lifts off pretty big. Maybe the guy's not expecting him to, but he still overdrives it super hard, like he's trying to get to his inside like it's the last lap or something. You can see he's basically drifting on entry. That's a little much. And then Nick uh, decides he's not going to make room for him because didn't feel like he was uh, entitled to it. And that results in, uh, fortunately, Nick just getting shoved up in the wall and broken. And uh, his race is over before he can even get four laps in. So that's not great. But uh, who else did... I know Billy left early, but he made it farther than lap 23, so we really don't have anything else we can see, I don't think. Because not only is the incident broken, but we can't go past... Like, you'll see, we'll get to lap 23... Oh, 22? Lap 22, and then... Not only is it broken, but it won't go past lap 22. You'll see here in a second. Yeah. I don't know. Sorry about that, but we will look at the league standings again, now that they're updated, and the race results. So, uh, race results first. I guess that would make sense. Bring those up. And here they are. So, who got fastest lap? That was Mitch. 
So, at least it wasn't Tracy. I was kind of wondering if Tracy would get some extra bonus points right there. Excuse me. Uh, he does lead a lap, though, at least one. So he'll get bonus points from that. But thankfully, we do as well. Um, 175 points for us. And uh, you can see your top ten there. Gavin finishes seventh. Great run for him. And Tracy finishes ninth. So we're going to gain about 42 points on him. No, I was looking at Andrew. We're going to gain about 32 points on him. So that's pr that's good. We need that. We need to maintain or or gain as much as we can. Minimize our losses if we want to win this championship. And uh, being able to get a little bit more of a cushion is very, very nice. You see moving down the list here. Nick, unfortunately, out early. After the guy uh, drives in real hard on him. And uh, probably wasn't expecting it. And uh, then we will look at the league standings after that. We are P1 still, of course. And 88 points ahead now of Tracy. Who still had a good run. So, not a huge gain, but still a gain nonetheless. Gavin had a nice run. Hanging in there at P3. And uh, there's the rest of your top ten right there. A few more. We'll scroll down a little bit. So that'll do it for this one. Sorry again for the technical <laughs> difficulties at the end uh, with the incidents and stuff. But uh, I'm sure Gavin, Nick, and um, potentially even others who record the races will have that for you. And uh, that'll do it for this one. P2. All right. Definitely could have... Uh, Potentially gotten the win if I didn't mess that up really badly, but it is what it is. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.